Just, I don't have you yeah. high. Your mic's good. Oh, okay. So the stream's starting okay. now. Um, okay, let me see that this... Uh, Okay, let me see that the the streams work. The stream should be working fine right now. Let me just check. Uh, I got the notification. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm gonna make a donation right now. Okay, let's see. Make sure my thing. Okay, yeah, there it is. Um. Uh, okay, I just, I just made a two hundred dollar donation. That should help. Um. Uh. Okay. So hello, how's everyone doing? Um. Uh. If uh, I'm doing a GT Online stream on the Tuners DLC. I promised that I'd do one. I've been delayed by this by a bit, but we're gonna be doing a Tuners DLC stream. Um. Uh. And uh. This is a charity stream also. Thank you, uh, Jay Barry and uh, Squisher93, and thank you, Anonymous. Um, and whoever that was that was anonymous, if you want your name to show up, just make sure you hit the checkbox after you donate, because there's a checkbox you have to hit if you want your name to appear. Um, uh, otherwise, if you, don't, if you don't want your name to appear, you can just don't hit the checkbox. Um, but um, uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a nice charity stream here on GT Online, and the charity that I've chosen is International Rescue Committee, and it is currently helping um, Afghan re um, Afghan families to try to get out of Afghanistan who are fleeing war. It's just really bad what's going on right now, so I wanted to do something for that. And um, next week I will be doing another charity stream. Um, I'll be doing it on Liberty City Stories, and I'll be doing one for veterans um, uh, next week. So um, uh, this one today, um, we're going to be doing a, a charity stream on GT Online. Uh, so if I, if I, I normally don't ask for donations, but if, ever, if, if everyone or if you can, please try to make a donation because it does help. This is for a charity. So um, uh, let's, uh, we're going to be doing some of the activities in the game. We're going to be doing the contracts, and I'm also applied to races. I haven't played the new races in this game, so I, I, I don't even know what they're like, but I've done all the contracts. So we're going to do this one right now, the robbery for the... Um, I already have the two other missions done here. Um, okay, let me just start this up here. Oh, thank you, Eric, um, for the donation. Thank you, man. We've already raised um, $540. Um, thank you, everyone. Okay, I'm going to be using the sharpshooter class on this. Yeah, the sticky bombs will Why do you, why do, I, I can't, I can't understand the grammar in that. Why so play GTA as much anymore? What do you mean? I, I'm assuming you're asking me why I don't play GTA online as much. Um, uh, and thank you, Sky, for, uh, for the donation as well. Thank you, man. And thank you also, um, uh... Uh, hotter um uh thank you everyone um okay we'll be starting this up but um you know i i really don't like that question um uh when i get asked that question and i get asked that question on numerous streams and on videos which i the question is why don't you play gta online any or gta anymore that's the the thing that i get asked and the reason i really don't like that question is because uh let's see what what outfit am i gonna wear on this uh oh, my thing is okay uh, where's that armor? I like that armor kind of, like, outfit. Um, let's see, uh, okay, I guess use this. So, what I was saying is the reason that I really don't like that question when people ask me why don't I play GTA anymore is because it's a nonsense question. Because it's, um, uh, I play, I play GTA almost every single day on my channel. Like, you can go on my channel yesterday, and you'll see, like, a GTA Vice City Stories video. For, like, the past year, I've been doing, like, just so much GTA stuff. I did all of San Andreas, I did a lore videos on that, I did Liberty City Stories lore on that, GTA 3 lore on that, um, I'm doing Vice City Stories right now, GTA 4, GTA The Ballad of Gay Tony, I did GTA The Lost and Damned, so when people ask me, you know, why don't I play 
play GTA anymore. It's a nonsense question. And I know exactly what they're referring to. Um, uh, thank you, Thomas, for the donation also. They're, they're basically trying to ask me why I don't play GTA Online anymore. But notice, though, notice how the question is asked. The question is asked not why I don't play GTA Online anymore. It's asked why I don't play GTA anymore. So there's a big difference between GTA and just GTA Online. GTA is a very broad array of games. There are so many different games out there. So when people ask me that question, why don't I play GTA anymore, it's a nonsense question. It should be more, why don't you play GTA Online anymore, but... When I see that question, why don't you play um, GTA anymore, the way that I'm interpreting that is those people are basically thinking that GTA Online is the only GTA game out there when they say, why don't you play GTA anymore. So that's, you know, I'm not trying to become like, I'm not trying to act rude or anything, but that's just, um, uh, you know, that's the way I see it, is when people ask me that question, is they act like GTA Online is the only GTA game out there. Okay, let's get over to this destination here. And thank you, Anonymous, for the donation. Oh yeah, I'll do Saints Row 1. And thank you, Flossing, um, uh, for the donation. I wish that you could really... I wish that you could skip this dialogue. Like, I really wish you could. Because I, I just... I really don't like this dialogue. Like, I just listening to it... Like, the first time I don't mind it, but I don't like listening to it over and over again. That's right. My ride gonna be unique, baby. All business. Well, thank you, Fernando. You're very smart professional. You're careful with your words and choose them wisely. That's one of the things I like about you. Well, thank you, man. I like the bank one, too. I think that one's my favorite one. I don't remember. Is that it's just called the bank contract? The one where you were, um... Yeah. Yeah, but... You know, I'm, I like I said, I'm not trying to be rude. But I, I just don't like that question, you know, why don't you play GTA anymore when it should be more, why don't you play GTA Online? Because GTA is a ver vast array of games. It's, um... And I have to say something about that, like, I didn't know anything about GTA 4, I, I just knew it was on Liberty City, and I really enjoyed the playthrough, everything, even the DLCs, my favorite thing was the Ballad of Daytona, it was just really good. You saw all of my, uh, GTA 4 playthroughs? Oh, thank you, um... It, it was really good, Yeah, was and really good, way better than this game. Yeah, and that's, you know, replaying GTA 4, I realized how much I miss GTA 4, and GTA 4 is my favorite GTA game, I would say that, yeah. So, like, GTA 4 was definitely my favorite one. I wish the, the online on PC was still up, um, but I loved um, a GTA 4 so much, and the number one thing that I loved about GTA 4 that this game, you know, failed to do was that GTA 4 is just so much more of a serious, darker game. Like, did you notice how much more yes. violent the story is? Like, how much more serious yes. it is? It's just some, um, uh... It's just, like, not comparable to GTA 5. I'm not even saying that GTA 5, that the story is bad, but it's just, it's not as serious as GTA 4. Yes, I really Thank you, Fernando, for really the uh, donation. You know, the, the thing, the... The thing that personally upsets me a bit is though when I see like, you know, I'll see like teenagers and like kids who have never played like the old GTA games and then they try to basically school me and tell me like that um uh that the old GTA suck. Chopper's gone, try to hit the the break things. Yeah. Try to get to their side. Okay, there's one more left. Damn this. Oh, great. Oh, thank you, Patrick, for the, um, uh, uh, for the donation also. You're such a good content creator. Thank you, Kenny. 
Thanks, man. Hey, saucer cats. Got it. Hey, as soon as it stops, get on there, check them containers. Okay, we should probably do okay. this pretty quickly because the helicopters are gonna. From the manifest. Just gotta find the crate that matches. S8 and S9. S8. It's not these ones. S8. It's the back ones, I think. Yeah. S9, yeah, you got that one. S8, this one. They gonna have this more fools coming now you stop the train. Don't let them get the jump on y'all. What is it? Uh. S eight B five. Yeah, I got S eight. Go watch out for this. Y'all checking the numbers, right? Hey, watch out for the chopper. You hear that? They got another chopper coming in. Stay cool, baby girl. Ain't nothing out there we can't handle. Yeah, I can see why people say that the then at the dialogue is annoying in this DLC when the um uh. When you can't, like, the first, hearing it the first time is okay, but when you constantly hear them talking to each other, like, it can get a bit annoying. Like, I wish you could just skip it. It's the same thing I read it online when you do those stupid blood money missions, and it's like, you just have to constantly keep hearing them repeating, Capitale, Capitale. It's, um, uh, it's not enjoyable. s 8 b 5 I'm just gonna break open the remaining ones quickly, then. Let's see here, what? What is that? It's, it's an EMP? I gotta say it, it's S91F. I think it's on the back. You're awesome, thank you, man. S91F, it's this one. Hey, you got, you got it. it. Once you got them all, hit the road. KO oh, we got them all? Okay. Yeah. This is my special. Let's bring this bitch home. Okay, um... Okay, wait, whoever has the, um... Oh, Pyro's da down. Um... Mm -mm. Okay. Must sp let's just spawn planes so we can just get out of here quickly. I'm gonna spawn my rogue if anybody wants to fly with me. Um, Alright. I haven't used that one in some time here. Uh, where's my plane? Delivery not. You can't ask for a plane when you have a, a personal card. Well, I guess it's not working then. Okay. I mean, I called the plane in, but it's, it's I was still able to use my personal vehicle, and so I guess it's not able to now. My Jerry Lore video, that's coming out soon, either tomorrow or Sunday. I'm just a little busy tonight, because I'm, I'm gonna have another Vice City Stories video to make, so just please be patient with me. I've just really, I've been going really crazy with the videos lately. Um, Oh, and thank you, uh, Morty, uh, hey, Firearms. Thank you for the donation. Brother. Thanks, this man. Be silky as a I enjoy watching your playthrough of Vice City Stories. Thanks, man. Great. Ow. Watch out for the chopper. He's gonna attack you. Yeah, I'd, I'd give Red the story a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I have a few lore videos coming out on Saints Row, but, um, uh, Saints Row 1 and 2. I will not do lore videos on Saints Row 3 and 4, because those are- I- I don't like- I don't like Saints Row 3 and 4. If I do lore videos, it'll be on Saints Row 1 and 2. You got it. Hey, player, don't bring none of these fools with you, I don't need no bullet holes in my shit.
Mafia 2 is free um, uh, for PlayStation Plus in September. Is it worth downloading? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Mafia 2 is a great game. You lose them? Cool. Ah, uh, this is a personal favor, y'all. I won't forget this shit. I'm gonna pay you good, too. This shit gonna be fire, girl. You know how hot my ride gonna be with this shit in it? You know it, baby. Okay, there we go. Good work. Who is the protagonist of Mafia 2? Vito. Yes, I'll do a Sleeping Dogs playthrough. Donald Love, why did he disappear? I'm gonna make some GTA lore videos. I have a lore video talking about Claude and his background. And um, I'm gonna have a lore video on Donald Love, but those videos are gonna come out in October. And the reason I'm saving those for October is because October is the 20th anniversary of GTA 3, so they'll be perfect to do it around that time. Are you gonna hit rank 8,000? No. I barely play this game. Like this, is like, this is like my first time playing in like months on this game. Like, I almost never play play GT Online anymore. I just, I don't, I, don't, I don't really play anymore. I'm just so bored of this game. But the Tuner DLC is relatively new. And so we have we have some fun with that. But, you know, I'm not on this game a lot. So I'm not, I'm not going to hit rank 8,000. Ne never. I'm not even going to hit rank um, 2,000, probably. Coffee. Oh, Hitman 2 is free, not Mafia 2. Oh, whatever. Um, Hitman 2 is still a great uh, game. Have you ever played Kane and Lynch? Yes, I've played both Kane and Lynch 1 and 2, and I love those games. Those games were those were great games. They were fun. I did enjoy them a lot. You know, I, I don't understand why people hated Kane and Lynch 2 so much. Like, the only, um... The only thing that I think was really worth criticizing in Kane and Lynch 2 was that the, the campaign was, like, 4 or 5 hours. You know, I think that's worthy of criticism. But, like, the, um, uh... The campaign, the story was pretty good. The multiplayer was a lot of fun. Um, you know, some some of the enemies were annoying in Kane and Lynch 2, where they would take more enemies, more damage than you, which I, I understand, I guess, that that criticism. But, like, when people were complaining about the camera, they're like, oh, the camera's shaky and stuff like that. You could turn that off in the options. So, like, that was actually more realistic, because when you're running like that, everything is shaking. So, um... Ah, uh, of course. Ugh... Even on a charity stream, these morons are gonna do this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like these these people these people have literally not like they they it's even on a charity stream it's like what, what a loser seriously. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how this guy got in here, but it's um. What do you mean, um, TJ? Why does this guy have a C in his name? I'm not even in the same crew as this guy. Okay. I might maybe like that time. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm in any crews right now, so. Uh oh, oh no, it's no. like this vote to kick this guy out of the session, guys. Yeah, it's just honestly, if you if you like my content so much, you wouldn't be acting like that, dude. Ugh. Yeah, basic try try hard outfit. This one of those. Yeah, this is this is why I play. I don't play in public sessions anymore because of garbage like this. Um, oh, this is the reason. I uh, and and it literally remember what I told you before, Carlos. Before the stream even started, I literally told you that these idiots would even try to blow me up on a charity stream, yes, and like the, they, and they literally I, I I called it and it happened. So even when I'm doing yeah. a charity stream, these people won't stop harassing me. So it's um uh, it's 
It's just that. It's, it's... And still, what's the point of interrupting a charity stream? Like, it's such a novel act from you, and still, they don't care. They just think it's fun to kill you, but it's just a game. Oh, well, I didn't know about that then, um, uh, TJ. Is that how he got into the lobby? And thank you, Mr. Waifu, for the donation. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Waifu, and thank you, Anonymous. Um, yeah, I, I don't really play, I, you know, I, I don't really play GTA Online anymore. There's, like, there is literally, like, a number of reasons I don't play GTA Online, but that's actually one of the reasons right there. It, it's literally, like, people like that, like, that will just, like... The fact that I'm in a friends only, like invite only session, and somebody still manages to get in here and just like you know, uh, you know, do stuff like that. That's like one of the reasons that I don't play GTA Online anymore. It's not even the main reason. The main reason is I'm just bored of the game. But like that is one of the reasons too. It's just it's just not fun anymore. Like you know, when you're trying to play the game, you're trying to enjoy it. You're trying to have fun with your friends, and some moron just comes in and just does something like that. That is just um uh. At least the guy paid for the orbital cannon. He didn't leave, but um, uh, right away at least. But um, uh, still, it's just um, uh, eh. okay. Saucer Cat says that friend lobbies are safe. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, because the thing is, we were in a friends lobby just now, but then when the second we ended the contract, we got put in invite only yeah. session. So I don't even know how that um thing. I have to check if that guy's on my friends list too. If he is, I'm gonna delete him. I've had people well, on my. Only appeared, uh, you hear if me? it only appeared the C, cool. he, he so was not on friends down, list. Even if you share the same crew, kind of the F from friend always appears all... first. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna, um. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna go to a friends only session right after this. I'm um, here. Okay. And that's one thing I don't understand. If you're in a friend session, why does it put you back on the name? And you know, this is no sense. like this. This is the first time that I'm. Um, uh, this is like the first time that I'm hearing this too. That apparently people can join you when in your invite only session. So even when you're in an invite yeah. only session, you're not safe. There's some type of stupid exploit that people can use to like um, uh, to join and harass. Um, thank you, Internet yeah. Rob, for the um, uh, uh, for the donation. That's the first time I hear about it too, like, how can they join an invite session, that's just ridiculous. And the, the fact, what's, what's really disgusting about this is the fact that Rockstar does, like, nothing to, like, fix stuff like this, when there's stuff like this in the game. I mean, how long did it take them to fix the orbital cannon glitch, and they still didn't fix it, I think. So it's, um, uh... Yeah. Rockstar is really one of the worst online developers that I've ever seen, like, it, it, at least in terms of support. They make good content for, like, GT Online, don't get me wrong, but in terms of support, they're, like, the worst. Like, the, Rockstar yeah. is terrible. Like, they are absolutely terrible at, like, managing the support for the online. They're really bad. Um, uh, thank you, yeah, Hodor, the Hodor for the button. donation. Thanks, the man. Report, the report oh. option, that it's just static or something, like, it doesn't help at all. If you want to know how, how useless the report system is, when I used to play GTA Online a lot, like a year and a half ago, I had some moron that um, came into like one of my live streams once, and he literally just, he kept doing the orbital cannon glitch, like he would just keep joining and leaving, joining and leaving, and he orbital cannoned me like six or seven times in an hour or something like that, like it was ridiculous. I remember and, that. And what happened was, I literally took my live stream, and I sent it to Rockstar in a support ticket. And in that support ticket, I literally, like, put in the timestamps on, like, the guy joining in, and it was absolute proof that the guy was doing the orbital cannon glitch because the timestamps proved that it. it was, like, right when the stream was live. So there was no footage to be manipulated there. The guy was clearly doing the orbital cannon glitch. I send this, I send this over this to Rockstar support, and I'm like, listen, this guy right here is doing the orbital cannon glitch. I reported the guy's um, PSN and everything, and I'm like, this guy's, like, abusing a glitch in the game. Please do something about that. I sent Rockstar all the proof that they needed. You know what Rockstar Support sends back to me? Rockstar Support sends back to me saying, Oh, just report him from the in-game menu. That's what Rockstar Support, um, uh, yeah, his response that does, was. That and the help. problem is, is that we all reported him through the in-game menu. And it's like, when, when we have like 20 people in a session, and almost all of us re hit report, and report that person, and that person still doesn't get banned, even though they're clearly doing a glitch.
and 20 of us are literally reporting and they're still not banned, that shows you how garbage Rockstar's um, uh, uh, support yeah. system actually is. It sucks. And it's like, whenever you have any kind of issue, like, if, if you're experiencing a glitch on GT Online or Reddit Online, like, nine times out of ten, when you resp when you ask Rockstar for help with a glitch, do you know what Rockstar will say? Oh, to fix the glitch, just re uh, re uh, reset your cache. That's what they always say. Just reset your cache. Yeah. Yeah, because resetting your cache is apparently going to fix every single thing. Yeah, that sucks. And I also remember, this is a little story of me, like, I was playing GTA with my friends, and... Uh, most of them, they their gamer tags were normal. The thing is that my name it appears Carlos. So one guy just started sending me awful things, racist things, awful, like really disgusting things, and we all reported him. But still, there was no action taken. The same thing with that guy who was abusing the glitch. Um, uh, he never got banned because I saw him in previous sessions. You know, there was uh, there was one time that uh, this guy who was harassing me, he did get banned. Um, uh, but I think it was like for a week or so. Um, so there was this guy who I remember like um, some time ago. Th this moron, like this is like November of 2019. I remember it because it was like the the day, the a few a few hours after the live stream. I literally went with my uh, mom to the supermarket just to um, pick out a turkey for Thanksgiving. So that's how I remember it. It was November 2019, that same day when picking out the turkey. But anyways, what happened was this guy. Um, uh, he uh, he kept trying to join into my session, and I knew this guy was a uh, was trying to harass people because he was in um, uh, the guy has done it before, and so we're playing this session. The guy is like halfway connected into the lobby, but the cloud screen stops him from joining in, so he can't join in because of the cloud screen, and um, and so I see his name when I went into the players. I saw his name in there, but he wasn't connected fully in the lobby, and so we played in that lobby for like two hours. So this idiot sat in that lobby for two hours in the clouds, two hours just to be able to, to kill me. He literally sat there in the cloud screen for two hours, just staring at the clouds just to be able Man. to finally connect into my session to kill me. And do you know what happened when he finally connected into the session? I said, okay, that's it guys, I'm ending the stream. Um, have a good day everyone. I was just ending, I was like, everyone leave the lobby. We're not playing in here anymore, I just ended the stream. And so he, he sat there for two hours hoping to finally kill me, he finally connects in. I just left the lobby, I was like, I'm not gonna give this guy attention, it's done. And you know what happens? The guy sends me a message on PSN afterwards. Really nasty message. Some really, really hateful, nasty stuff in there. And what I did was I reported it. I reported the message. I reported it to Sony. And um, and literally within like less than 30 minutes, the guy's messages were deleted. And Sony just sent me like a little notification that we've taken action. And so afterwards, I never got a message from that guy again, ever again. Like never any hateful messages ever from that guy again. Because he knew that if he tries to send me something again, I'm just going to report him again. And he's probably going to get banned permanently at that point. Um... Let me go into a friends only session so that these um, uh, people can't join because there's some stupid glitch with invite only so they can join in. But that was it. Sony is actually good. So if you if you guys ever get harassed in a game and somebody sends you like a nasty message, like, you know, threatening you, sending some hateful stuff, just report it to Sony if you're on PlayStation because Sony is really quick with that and Sony takes that really seriously. Sony is will always respond to it. So they will deal with it. Um, uh, so Sony's really good when it comes to that stuff. Rockstar is just terrible. Um, uh, if somebody sends you a message on the phone in GTA, you can't really report that to Sony. But if they send you something on PlayStation messages, just report that to Sony because then they can't, um, uh, th Sony will deal with it. And thank you, thank you Anonymous and Lewis for your donations. Thank you guys. And thank you, Jack uh, Lindsay. Thank you also, man. And thank you, Brett and um, and Jackknife. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry I didn't read your donations earlier. Um, I was just, you know, in the middle of, like, you know, saying that story, but... Top five things that are unrealistic in Ace Attorney? I guess. I could also do a video of top five realistic things in Ace Attorney because there's actually a few things that are realistic. Like what they said about the, the, the stab wounds in like the last part, um, uh, that, they were 100% correct on what they said about stab wounds. So that was all real. Um, uh, and, uh, and the thing is though, is it's kind of crazy how I predicted it. I literally said, like, I literally said, if you remove the knife, when you get stabbed, if you remove the knife, that actually creates more blood and can actually kill you faster, depending on where you get stabbed. And they literally said that like a minute after I said it. Um, so that was kind of crazy. You good? 
But yeah, a, lo a lot of people don't know that, that if you get stabbed, depending on where you get stabbed, it's actually best not to remove the knife. Um, uh, because if, if you remove the knife, that's a lot of people's gut instinct is remove the knife right away. Um, uh, but if you remove the knife, the knife actually holds the blood in. So if you actually remove the knife, a lot of blood is actually going to pour out and then you could actually die faster. So, you know, God forbid that happens to somebody, you know, probably the best thing to do in that scenario is to go to the hospital, um, uh, with the knife and then have them take it out when there's a doctor. Don't take it out on the scene. Unless there's trained medical personnel. Um, uh. But the, the Ace Attorney was right when they described stab wounds like that. Um, uh, and thank you, K, uh, Keiju, for the donation. Okay. It's really nice to see that this much people are donating such a good cause. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna get up to a thousand, um, uh, a thousand dollars on this stream. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, who am I gonna invite to this, um, cause... You can only do the, 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 the final mission with four people, right? You can't do it with an MC, right? Yes. Okay, so then, um... Okay. I'm loading right now. I'm gonna invite TJ, cause TJ was here earlier. Is Robert rejoining too? Or Roberto, is he rejoining? I'm not sure. Oh, one thing about this update, it's way better to, it's way better to spawn on the street than in a building. Like, if you spawn on a building, it's probably gonna take way much time. Hmm. How do you create a fundraiser stream? Well, there's one of two ways. You can, or you can, you, you just go into your, um, live, you go into your live stream settings, and then you, you, you go to the very bottom, there's like add a fundraiser, you can look for an existing one or you can create one. And so I created one. I found this um, current organization, International Rescue Committee, that's helping, you know, people that are fleeing war in Afghanistan. And um, uh, I, I looked it up, I did a little bit of research on the charity. I didn't see any bad things about it, because when, when I pick a charity, I want to make sure it's a good charity. And so I, um, uh, I didn't see anything bad about International Rescue Committee, so I chose that one. And, um, and next week I'll do, a, um, I'll do a stream for veterans. So I'll do a Liberty City Stories veterans uh, charity stream. I just don't know what veterans um, charity I can choose. If anybody knows like a good veterans charity, let me know. Um, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to find a veterans charity for next week to do. Um, uh, is Roberto, Roberto, are you coming back? Because if you are, I'll wait for you because you were in the CEO before. Um, Next time I will change my spawn location. And thank you, Ma Macker or Macer. Thank you for the donation. Um, The G GTA Online is louder than my voice. Okay, I can make my voice a little bit louder then. Okay, my voice should be a little bit louder now. Man, it's ridiculous. It's Don't worry really about that, James. People people accuse um uh people accuse me of having a modded rank all the time. It's nonsense. Don't listen to them. And it's 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 the the highest legitimate guy that I know of is Relicane. What rank is Relicane? Is he like 4,000 something right now? I think that's like the most legitimate rank on this game um, that I've seen personally. I don't know if there's somebody higher than him, but that's the the, the one that I know that's legitimate. That's um uh, the highest rank. Um, uh, I'm just waiting to see if Roberto comes back. Um, uh, okay, Roberto is here. Okay, uh, let me invite Roberto. Um, Peace. Yeah. I can somebody um uh. Can somebody in the comment section explain to me exactly how that guy got into my session before? Because this is the this is the first time that I'm hearing that people can join you even if you're in, in invite-only lobby. So apparently there's some stupid exploit now where people can join you if you're in invite-only lobbies. And I didn't even know about this. So can somebody explain to me how he got into my session? Um, uh, and uh, let's do this one here now. 
Oh, and thank you for sponsoring the channel, to Twitch. Um, thanks, man. Manipulation of the internet, Pink? This is the first time that I've heard about this. Um, thank you, Mac, uh, oh. a Macker, for the donation again. He wants the rest of the crank. They ain't gonna be around to sell. First, we gotta this is ridiculous. The it hasn't the loaded. I just saw you walking on the street. Him. Can't steal the stuff if we don't know how they move it. Yeah, we're friends only, so they shouldn't they sh shouldn't be able to join in, but I think I'll close my game and try to rejoin his decision full. Oh, okay, Squawk. Oh, and is this the one where you, um, where you have to take the, the, the truck all the way across the map? Is that the one? Right, that is the one, right? Yeah, this is the one with the truck. Oh, thank you, Talera. Um, thank you for the donation. Oh wait, that was that was the guy who did it. Oh, I didn't know that that was the guy who did it. Oh, he's who sponsored. I didn't know. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Okay, let's get it in this truck here. for the scent of the contact. Yeah, I just realized that's that's probably the same guy who Orbital Cannoned me, who just sponsored the channel. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna drive this to the destination here. Oh, great. Do I think that Red Dead is dying? Oh, great, I'm stu stuck right now. Come is there like an invis- what the? Ah. Uh. No. 
Oh man. I'm in a bad spot right now and I'm I'm stuck. All oh, right, the atomizer. Yep. I almost forgot about that. See, I haven't I haven't played this game in so long that I almost forgot about the atomizer. However, all those explosions are probably bad right now. It's probably the truck's probably done now. Yeah, this truck's done. Well, your MOC is the cab. You can use that. Ah. Uh. I think he was. I think that was the guy who, um, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I gotta wait a minute and 35 seconds. I can just start, I can just start driving over there, and, like, when I'm right next to it, I can just call the MLC in. That's what I can do. Or there's one right here, okay. I, I don't really need backup, it's fine. It was just, I just got stuck. Um, uh, anything I... Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Anonymous, for the, um, uh, donation. Thanks, man. There will actually be unique dialogue um, on this mission if you actually use the Phantom Wedge. Okay, we'll call it in here. You know, when you start this mission, one person could just go to the yard and just call in the Phantom Wedge, and then you could finish that mission really quick. Uh, thank you, Lee, for um, uh, sponsoring the channel. Okay, here we go. Oh, thank you, Anonymous, for the donation. Charity just reached $800. Oh, we did. Oh, okay, thank you, everyone. Yes. We've reached 800 Thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you, Caleb, for the donation. to the crystal business. I'ma make sure that truck is ready when you good to head into Stab City. Okay, and I'm gonna get back to that um auto shop right now. I'll have to close the game again, like this is just dumb. 
Ты даст на лаву. There's a lot of things that need to be fixed in this game. Will you do a special video when you hit a million subscribers? Um, yeah, I'll think of something to do when I get to a million. I hope I get to a million subscribers. Ah, okay, hope, hopefully Jet's not smoking yet from that. Is the Maltok worth it? Oh yeah. I think anybody would be unlucky to meet um, Dimitri. Dimitri's just a really bad guy to meet in general. Um. And thank you, um, uh, uh, bro. Thank you for the uh, donation. Okay, let's do this then. We could probably all split up on this. Oh, thank you, Manny. Oh, I gotta wait, uh, Robert, uh, uh, wait. Is Robert joining in? Roberto? I'm um, sorry, I call him Robert, um, Roberto. Is Roberto, um, uh, is Roberto joining in? Roberto, can you, uh, are, do you wanna, could you write in the YouTube chat? If, if um, I just have, I can't see my messages right now, but could you write in the YouTube chat? Do you want to get in right now into the, um, into the lobby here? If you're watching Roberto, um, thank you, bro, for the uh, donation again. We're at $830. Uh, we're almost one-third of the way there. Thank you, everyone. Uh, extend time. Okay, I sent Roberto an invite here. Um... Okay, he's joining in. I mean, I, I, I like Arthur, I guess, because um, I guess you play as him longer and you, you see a lot of character development with him. I think that Trevor would have killed Dimitri even before Dimitri betrayed him. Oh, I can't use my personal vehicle? What? I think my vehicle got blown up. <sighs> what is the most deadliest GTA character, Claude? Because Claude will do anything for money. He he will do any task. It doesn't he doesn't care what it is. Yeah, we're doing another contract here. 
what do you mean? I'm playing, I'm, oh my god, I'm playing GTA. I played G, GTA yesterday when I did Vice City stories. Uh, no, I don't know that complete. Ooh. Claude would work for anyone as long as they're paying. He doesn't care. Who has the most kills out of all the GTA protagonists? Easy. Um, Tony Cipriani has the highest body count out of all of the um, all of the GTA characters because of when he blew up Fort Staunton. When he blew up Fort Staunton, he killed hundreds of possibly thousands of people in that mission. So Tony Cipriani has the most amount of murders on him. Yeah, I, I just had like five hours of sleep last night. Um, Did you guys connect? Hello? Carlos, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Did you but connect I, I it? Join. Your no, I couldn't. Your session is full. It's just the sometimes you get stuck on, on the loading screens and it wasn't possible for me to join. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to restart. Yeah. No, and in the current state of GTA, it's just best to spawn on the last location on the street or something. The most moral GTA character, Vic Vance. What's the status of um, a GTA mission? A Revenger's Tragedy, GTA 4. Who are the, the main antagonists in every GTA game? GTA 3, Catalina. GTA Vice City, uh, Sonny Forelli. GTA San Andreas, Tenpenny. Um, uh, GTA Liberty City Stories, um, Massimo. GTA Vice City Stories, Martinez. Uh, GTA 4, Dimitri. Uh, GTA the, um, the Lost and Damned, Billy Gray. Um, GTA um, uh, The Ballad of Gay Tony, um, Ray Bulgarin. Uh, and uh, GTA 5, Devin Weston. Okay. Someone's asking, when you complete Liberty City Stories, will you complete another game on 100%? Um, probably. <laughs> I'll see. It was very time-consuming to do Liberty City Stories 100%. Like, that's that's not an easy game to 100%. Um, the status death in um in uh in GTA that would be uh, Roman's optional death in uh, GTA 4. Who would you say is the weakest GTA villain? Uh, Devin Weston. That's a nice Assassin's Creed shirt, thank you. Okay, if you guys want to join me. Oh, yes. And I'll start this up here. Waiting for everyone to join. Who's more annoying, Shogo Kuji or Brian Jeremy? Brian Jeremy.
I don't really have a favorite DJ. I barely listen to the music in the game. I'm not excited for Saints Row, the new one. I was getting excited for it originally, but um, it's a. Uh, sorry, everyone, I'm still a little sick, but it's um, it's it's I just don't really don't like it what they did. There has been um, there was a guy earlier who orbital cannoned me in an invite only session. Somehow he got in. Um, who was in my um, who was in my CEO before? It was James um. Roberto, and who else was there? Are you going to do a video, a lot of videos on, on Vice City stories? Yes, I will. Okay, give me one moment here, guys. I'm just going to turn on the air conditioner. Okay, so who was in my, who was in my CEO before? Um, it was um, uh, let me see here. Okay. You good? And TJ is TJ rejoining? Let me check the chat. How you doing? Yeah, I think that Red Dead Online is in serious trouble um, if the next update isn't good. I don't think that people realize that GT Online probably doesn't have that many DLCs left itself. Um, Um, possibly, Brandon. Okay, I'll give TJ like a... Um, uh, TJ, do you want me to just um, uh, to uh, start it? Uh, or do you want me to wait for you? Let me know. I can wait. Um. Oh, T, uh, TJ got off uh, GTA, okay. Yeah. Okay, um... Okay, uh, I guess let me invite, uh... I guess I'll invite Saucer Cats here, and then afterwards we're gonna do, uh, probably the new, these new tuna races, um... Okay, Brandon. Well, the next update might not e might not even be that good um, uh, soon. We're gonna have to see what it is. Um, okay, waiting for everyone to connect into here.
Why is that fusion? Roberto, are you gonna join too? We'll wait, we're waiting for you whenever you get the chance. Hope you're doing good, man. I am, thank you. I think he is, um, Pat, uh, Patrick. To be honest, bro, I don't think that the next Red Dead update is going to be that good either. Yeah, I don't yeah, really... They're, they're working on expanding in the hand, so I don't think that they would really care about Red Dead. I don't really have much hope for the next Red Dead update either. Yeah, and the thing is that that update could definitely kill the game. Like, this update was terrible. Yeah, and... And it's unfortunate that there are so many people that don't care about Reddit Online. That's what's unfortunate about it. Um, yeah. I, it has so much potential. Like, it's pretty much new, and there's so many things that they could do, but they don't. Uh, possibly, um, uh, Master Shake. I just have a bunch of lore videos coming out. Okay, we should probably all split up and hit different meth labs on this. Okay, I'm gonna get the two in, in Sandy Shores. We got a lot going on with these lost fools, so here it is. Blow they meth labs up first. We sent you the locations. Hit them in any order you like. When you're done, drive the truck you stash over the staff city and get it hooked onto that trailer full of crank. That's the haul, all right? Kay's coming around now. Here he is. Hey, Kay, get in here. Hey, baby. We running this job for Chef or what? Yeah, get over here. Yo, listen up. Here's what you need to know. Y'all know Chef? He a strung out motherfucker. Runs with a real psycho crew. No? Yeah, it's Trevor. Right, well, he's our client. Country as hell. Ain't cut out for no city shit. So he needs cats like us with fast motherfucker cars to pull his jobs for him. And that's what the fuck we here to do. Them lost fools ain't gonna just let you run off with their shit. It's gonna be hard. But don't get the take a shot up on the way to the drop. When it gets there, Chef gonna pay us. Then no, I'm just looking down at my phone, um, uh, because my phone is, like, right on my table, so I look at the chat on my phone. I'm also a little tired, because I had, like, five hours of sleep last night, but... Then we on to the next one, y'all. Get the fuck out of my sight. Lost MC asshole! Oh shit, you okay? Oh, come on, okay. Now we're inside. Stick a bomb right on the control panel. Should be enough to blow the whole place. The worst GTA protagonist? I don't know. Leave that bomb inside. I have to really think about that. Yeah, they really did ruin the Lost MC in, in comparison to uh, GTA 4. GTA 4, they were so much better. A lot of people don't even know that, that the guy Trevor kills a, a, a past GTA character. You lit now, fools! 
Look alive, motherfucker. Them lost fools will see that smoke, too. Man, the way we hitting these biker bitches, they gonna be out for the count. Damn, I hope not. Need to keep that market competition alive, baby. Stirring shit up is our USP. Ha. We waist deep in this shit and you already planning the next job. Oh, come on, girl. I don't never take a day off getting paid. Drop the bomb, move your ass. How we doing out there? I think sweating over here. I ain't sweating, baby. We all about parting fools from their money. And there's no bigger fools than the lost motherfucking MC. It's just, no one wants to get caught with a truck full of amphetamines. Ah, uh, don't worry, baby. I see this one behind the wheel. No one's catching them. We good. Oh, and thank you, um, thank you there, e Eon Clark, if I'm reading that correctly. Thanks, man. And sorry, guys, I was a little tired because I didn't get that much sleep last night. Professional, you look like you're gonna pass out. Yeah, and I, I, I didn't realize that the tiredness was gonna kick into me this this much. I'm and I'm sorry, everyone, if I look tired. I um. I'm sorry about that, everyone. I just had like five hours of sleep, and I was perfectly fine before I started the stream, but now getting a little tired. But I'll still play. Make sure that when you finish the stream, you get some sleep. Like. Yeah, I'll probably get. get yeah, I'll probably get some rest after this. I'll probably be live for another hour. Yeah, I, I, I just hope my tiredness is... I just drank a coffee just now. I hope my tiredness isn't annoying anyone. I just, um, uh, yeah. I just didn't realize that I was going to get this tired qu this quickly. I've just been staying up... I've been staying up pretty late, like, editing videos, making Ace Attorney and, um... Uh, and Vice City Stories videos late at night. When you get there, hook the tanker up to the truck. Then haul your ass straight to the drop. No one just that. If you take three hours to make it nice and much of you know how much it's take to be dead. Okay, here we go. You're killing it with Content Pro. Um, uh, thanks. Uh, no problem, Iron. What I love about the Phantom Wedge, you can pretty much ramp for anything. Okay, got a mile left to the drop off here. My day was good today, James. How was your day? Just I just didn't get much sleep today, but other than that, it was good. 
I had to take a different path when I did this mission the first time. Hey, baby, I'm thinking about spending my cut on that Lucien dress you've been talking about. I don't need you to buy me that shit, player. I got it myself after our last job. <laughs> oh, shit. How's it look, baby? Nine when it's on, ten when it's on. Damn. Okay, y'all. Come on. It's time to wrap this shit up. No, I'm just, I'm just tired, um, yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna get some sleep after the stream, because I, I didn't realize, I'm sorry everyone, I just, I didn't realize I was gonna get this tired this quickly. That's what happens when you stay up till, when you stay up till 7 o'clock in the morning editing videos. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna still play. I'm gonna um, I wanted to do I want to do a charity stream. I want to help raise some more money for the charity, so I'm gonna keep playing. Um, pro sleep is important. We appreciate you streaming and for charity, but you need to rest. It's fine. I'll I'll stream um uh, I'll stream that other hour like I said, and then I'll probably get some sleep afterwards. Yeah, well, I had um, I had food poisoning at the beginning of I had food poisoning at the beginning of the month, which has really sucked um, uh, bad. And then, like, for the past few weeks, like I've been just I've had like a really bad sneeze for like the past few weeks. I don't know, like, I don't know what it is. Um, like I just I've been sneezing. Like the tip the tip of my nose is sometimes itchy, and so I've just been sneezing a lot. I feel like I feel like mucus in my throat. And, um, and that, but I don't think that it's, you know, I don't think it's COVID. I, um, uh, I, uh, yeah, I think it's just allergies because it's been going on, it's been going on for a few weeks and it's just been an anno annoying sneeze. Like I, I've still been eating normally and everything like that. Um, I think, I think it's allergies and, um, and with, uh, with COVID, I think that y you, you're rarely will people sneeze. But, oh, man. Oh, I got another guy. And this is what? Is this an invite-only lobby again? Let's see. Is it? We gotta be careful when we, um, uh, when we end these because it's, um... It's most likely an allergy, so don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's invite-only. And I just heard the orbital cannon go off. That was probably meant for me, but they didn't hit me. You know, this is this is this is what's sad. Like like you know, stuff like this. This is just unfortunately sad. Is literally I'm I'm literally just finishing up the mission and these morons are just literally waiting until the mission finishes just so I can be in an invite only lobby just so they can join me. And they join like instantly like right after like that wasn't even like a minute after the mission ended. That was just um uh that's just honestly what's so sad. I'm not I'm not playing any more contracts today. I'm just going I'm just going to be strictly in a friends only session. That's it. Um, that that actually kind of woke me up in a way, so I'm not as tired anymore now. Um, but um, yeah, it's just it's like yeah, it, this, this is like the, this is the levels that people will go to. Like I'm I'm little, literally doing a charity stream here, you know, trying to help raise money for this charity, and these people will even harass me on that. Like if you're if you know if, if you're gonna harass me, at least you know do it on a different stream. You know, don't do it on this stream. We're trying to just have positive. You know, vibes here. We're just trying to be as positive as possible, and just trying to help raise money for people in Afghanistan right now. What's going on? But unfortunately, you have idiots like that that will just even do stuff like this on these types of streams. It's just, it's. Just, I honestly hope these people are proud of themselves, and I hope they're happy with themselves. It's just it's disgusting people. It's honestly, the. He, he just even harass people on a charity stream. It's just disgusting. Um, also, if you ever try doing another public session stream, you can do it in the in the car, mate. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, 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 and it's 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 and you know what 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 would have happened if I stayed in that session? You know what would have happened is that 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 next idiot was probably getting ready to orbital cannon me. We heard the orbital cannon about to go off. He probably failed at the last second, and um, uh, they would have just probably gotten onto an oppressor mark too. Just activated ghost organization and just do all that garbage. That's probably what they would have been doing. It's um uh that's just um uh you know. That's. I see. If I can deliver this car here. Um, modify, service. Uh. And do you think oh, that the passive light blue should be changed, like the parlay system? Hang on, I'm gonna, um, one moment, I'm just looking for light blue, performance, EMS level upgrade 1. Okay, body work here. Uh Oh, this this is an electric car, right? Um roof uh Front bumpers. Uh, uh, oh, body work. What is this? Carbon streets. Oh, wheels, and then that'll be it here. Oh, wheels here. Street. Deep, uh... Oh, it's deep. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna deliver this vehicle. I don't know. Um, I don't know why people do stuff like that. Um, uh... Why I, it's just I don't really have an um, I don't really have an answer for that. And and the thing is though, like it's like I don't even play this game anymore. Like I I just don't. I moved on to other games. You know I really don't play this game anymore. The, you know the the reason that I'm doing I'm playing this game today on a live stream is because I promised that I'd do a Los Santos Tuners DLC stream, which I never got a, the chance to do, but I still kept my promise and I said. You know, I do this stream, and so that's, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the stream right now, and I also wanted to do it for charity. Um, but, um, uh, you know, these people, the fact that that it's 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 really like the same group of people that were, like, killing me, like, literally like a year and a half ago, even more than that. And I literally just, um, uh, I get on the game for just, like, one day, which I'm, I'm not going to stream this game again until December. So, like, I'm not, this is, like, this is the last time that I'm streaming this game until, like, uh, December. December is probably when I'll stream this game, when the next update comes out, because I just, I'm just, I just don't have fun with GTA Online anymore. I just don't. Um, sure, I have fun with the Tuners DLC, but I'm just not really, um, uh, I'm not really enjoying this game. I'm not as passionate about this game as I used to be, but the fact that I don't play this game for what, you know, for how, how many months haven't I played this game for? When's the last time that I streamed this game? What, eight months ago? Six or seven uh, months. It, it, it was like eight months ago. No, n even longer than that, nine months ago. It was like the last time that I streamed this game was like around Christmas time, I think. And that was a charity stream too. And um, uh, and even when I did the charity stream, I did that all private. That was just Cayo Perico, nothing else. So, you know, the, the fact that these people have been waiting that long to like, you know, just to be able to just kill me again 
in, in this game. It's just sad. Um, oh yeah, and it's a they're gonna they're gonna upload it to their stupid YouTube channels, and they're gonna be like, oh look, I killed the professional after what like um uh, nine months of him not playing GT Online. It's like, oh yeah, I got one kill with him on the orbital cannon. Let me just upload this to YouTube and get the video mass dislike probably. That's um uh, make myself look stupid too. That's probably what's on their channels. Um, there are literally thirty seconds of so-called fame. Um, yeah. No, those are the same people, because one of them, I recognized one of them. It was like a guy that was harassing me like a, a year and a half ago, so I recognized one of them. Um, so it's, it is the same people. Will you stream Expanded and Enhanced? No, I will not. Um, uh, well, I'm going to be streaming GTA Online, in ex in, I guess, in Expanded and Enhanced, but if you're talking about like the single player, no. The single player, I'll do a separate playthrough of that. Um... The thing with Expanded and Enhanced is that if they do a GTA update for that, they're not gonna do anything for Red Dead. Yeah. Yeah, because they're updated. I feel like Red Dead, Dead is games. being I feel like Red Dead is being held back because of this game. It is. If Expanded and Enhanced comes with an update, there's gonna be nothing for Red Dead. I'm, I can confirm you that. Uh, hood. Okay, here we go. Let's deliver this vehicle then. Yeah, um, yeah, pe people in this game, they, they pe people in this game can be pretty toxic, I agree with that, um, and it, more toxic than in other games, like, pe people in this game are just way more toxic than in Red Dead, for instance, and you could even argue that people are more toxic in GTA than in Call of Duty, but yeah, it's, it's, it's people like that, that, like, literally, um, give this game a bad, um, um, uh, uh, give this game a bad image. Not even, not even a charity stream is really safe from them trying to harass people. It's, um, that's the type of people that you're, that's how toxic these people are.
You know what I found kind of weird? That s some of the really toxic people that would just endlessly, like, harass me, when I stopped playing GT Online, they started complaining that I stopped playing GT Online. I found that kind of strange. Um, it's almost like they had literally nothing- they had nothing else to do. Because they couldn't make videos of them killing me anymore. Yeah, I miss GTA 4 multiplayer. GTA 4 multiplayer wasn't anything like this. It's so- it's a shame. I could still play it on PS3, but it's a shame that, like, it's like it's not on PC anymore. Will you stream Call of Duty Zombies maybe one day? Ever played Liberty City Stories multiplayer? Yes, I did. I played that with my friend. When you had the PSPs, when you would connect to each other, I did, um, uh, I did play that with my friend. Yeah, I mean, the passive mode could be improved greatly in this game, definitely. The passive mode in this game should be like Red Dead. Mm -hmm. Let me also, let me make another donation here also. Um... Okay, I donated a hundred dollars. If if ev everybody could, if if everybody could give something, if possible, um, uh, we're almost at one thousand dollars. We're really close to it. Uh, this this charity is um International Rescue Committee. It's um to help people that are displaced by war and trying to get out of Afghanistan right now and just um uh dealing with just a lot of bad stuff right now. I just feel so bad for people over there. Um. I, um, yeah, and I'm gonna do a charity stream for veterans next week, um, so I'll do one for veterans, um. Oh, oh thank you, you Eric, hey. um, and thank you, uh, Fernando. Uh, what am I gonna do here, um. Oh, thank you, Marches, um, thank you, man. Okay, we're at a thousand now. Thank you, um, Undead Coyote Thirty Two. Thanks, um, thanks also, man. And thank you, uh, JT King. Thanks, man. Oh, Union Depository. We got that. We could do that. <sighs> Let me do this here then, um... Oh, and I'm in a CEO by myself. Okay, I'll invite um I'll invite like three other people after this mission here. Uh, thank you, anonymous. 
Um, if you want your name to show up, just make sure you hit the checkbox after you donate. Um, otherwise your name's gonna be anonymous. Okay, there we go. Uh, thank you, Anonymous, for the donation. That vehicle is armored, so I can already, um... Oh, wow. Huh. That was a bit of a chain reaction there. Oh, I gotta go around. Okay. Oh, thank you, Michael Sc um, Scott. Thank you. We're at $1,100 already. We're a third of the way there. Thank you, man. Now, uh, look at the mess that that explosion caused in here. Okay, we're gonna drive out of here. Um, um, thank you, uh, uh, Dizzy. Thank you for the donation also. Thank you, uh, Dark Ender. Thank you for the donation. Oh, is that that's a hundred? Um, that's a hundred pounds there. Thank you, thank you, Dark um, Ender. Thanks, man. We're at one thousand two hundred now. Thank you. I'll leave it in here. Oh, and thank you, Chloe. And, and thank you, TJ. Thanks, guys. Someone is asking how to donate. Oh, how to donate? You would have to hit the little like heart kind of hand symbol in the bottom right. 
of where the chat is, and then you make the donation there. And if you want your name to appear, make sure you hit the checkbox, because a lot of people miss that, and uh, so their names are anonymous, unless you want your name to be anonymous. Um... Yeah, well, Reddit Online got kind of screwed, um, uh, James. Wow, a lot of cars out here, okay. Uh, thank you, Bunny, for the donation, thank you. I don't really care about the next GTA update. I'm looking much more forward to the next Red Dead update. Um, Okay, vault code. All right, this mission. Um, this mission is gonna be a little frustrating here. Keep it up, uh, pro. Good job, in my opinion. Thank you, uh, Destiny. Call Lester right now. I think Lester Lester doesn't work in this thing. Hi. What service are you looking Yeah, he doesn't. For? Okay, call me back once you decide. Whoa, what the, the you can get NPC drivers in this game. Oh wait, uh, I wanted to get in the front. Okay, go. Oh, uh, thank you, Freddy, for the donation. Yeah, International Rescue Committee. It's, um... International Rescue Committee. It's a, um, uh... It's a charity that I found um, uh, recently. I looked it up and I read good things about them and they right now have a mission in Afghanistan. Um, I never said that GTA is dying. I don't know what you're talking about. Um,
I'll probably ha try to have a, a Vice City Stories part up tonight. If I don't have it tonight, I'll have it tomorrow. Um. Okay, I have the scanner here. Okay, wait, it's gonna be the... Oh, it's this one here. The, yeah, the, the comic. The blue one. That's him. No, I'm not really gonna do reviews on the Los Santos tuners. Um, uh, the reason that I, the reason, the reason that I'm not gonna do any videos on the any more videos on the Los Santos tuners is because the video, the update, what just happened? I have no idea. Oh, oh okay. I think Great got too too close. To me. Yeah, because I was too far away from. Okay, um, uh, can you take me back to the auto yeah, shop then? Yeah. No big deal, um... Is that we all... Yeah, we all have to be away from him. Why do you... Why do you always complain about everything? What... Name me something that I complain about. I'd like... I'd, I'd like you to please point that out. Because most of the time, the, the, pe the people that are saying that I complain a lot... It, it's okay, great protected, don't worry about it. The, the, pe the people that say that I complain a lot... These people don't know what complaining is. Um, uh... There's a big difference between complaining and criticism. Um, uh, complaining focuses on the individual and their personal grievances, while criticism points out an issue, usually to a group of people, and explains to them why that's bad. That's what criticism is. Point pointing something out and explaining to others why it's bad. That's not really complaining. And yet, people say complaining, and I'll tell you something. The people that say that I'm complaining, those people get angry. Because I'm criticizing something that they abuse. So, for instance, when I when I criticize the orbital cannon and I talk about how stupid it is, the people that say, "Oh, you're complaining," those are the same people that are constantly abusing the orbital cannon glitch. And so they get angry that I'm talking about a problem, and they're scared that if I talk about a problem enough, that it's gonna get patched, or even if the problem doesn't get patched, they feel insulted that I'm criticizing something that they regularly do. And um, and so that's um uh, that's exactly what it is. Um, I mean, any anyone. I'm gonna say this, and I don't want to sound like I don't want to sound rude, but anyone that says that that oh you're complaining when you criticize the orbital cannon glitch is an idiot, because that's that's a game breaking bug of somebody constantly blowing you up with the orbital cannon. If People have a right to say that that's stupid. If, you, if somebody s literally says, oh, you're complaining that they're stupid, they're an idiot. Because that's literally a problem that's been in the game for so long. And, um, uh... <laughs> Pearl, I want to donate, but wow. is the site secure? It's through YouTube, and YouTube is secure, and it's, um, it goes, uh, it goes to International Rescue Committee, which I, I looked up that charity, and I, I read so far everything good things about it. I didn't really see any bad things about it. Um, uh... We have a Thank you, AJ, for, um, uh, another. for donating. Um, uh, well, I'm probably gonna do that, um, uh, I'm probably- Hey, Timmy. Uh, we're doing, uh, GT Online stream right now. Um, I'm gonna be, um, uh, I'm gonna be doing that final mission and then probably, um, uh, probably ending the stream soon, um, but, um, yeah, and it's like, and, and, and the thing is, though, is I don't understand this logic, I don't, like, this, this logic is just so stupid, it is just so stupid, it's like, wh when you point out something that's bad with a game, like, you literally, it's not like, it's not like I'm just literally pointing out something stupid, like, something, something, something normal, I would say, and just constantly talking about it. I'm, I'm pointing out things that the majority of people agree with. And literally, if I'm gonna say, if the majority of people didn't agree with me on like the things that I talk about, especially on this game, my GTA videos would have way more dislikes than likes if people didn't agree with me. And yet, 
on all the vi GTA videos where I talk about things like the Orbital Cannon, talk about things like the Oppressor Mark II and all of that stuff, the ratio is really like usually like 90% likes. So it's um uh it's usually most of the people agree with me on these um uh, on these things. So uh thank you um uh thank you Melov and, and for the do for donating. But I'm I'm just so sick of this this garbage argument that I hear. Oh, you're complaining. It's like it, complaining would be like Complaining would be like you playing Call of Duty and like getting oh he killed me. This is so stupid like that's complaining It's like something like that. It's like criticism is like literally saying the orbital cannon is dumb It should not be in the game. It ruins the game. It breaks the immersion of the game It ruins the fun in the game. That's criticism. That's not really complaining So, you know, these people should literally look up what these words are before they constantly keep saying complaining this complaining that um, uh, Because it's just um, uh And do you know what I found really, um, uh, you know what I found kind of funny? Is, I remember when the, um, remember when the, um, uh, when, when Rockstar put the timer on Easy Way Out, remember that? When they, wait, what, what, which update was that that did the timer on Easy Way Out? That was the, um, uh, was that the casino update? I think that was the casino update. Somebody remind me if I'm, if I'm right on that. But they put, like, a timer on when you could use Easy Way Out. And... What happened is, um, casino update, okay. And so, Rockstar put the timer on Easy Way Out. And guess what? The, the people that constantly kept accusing me of complaining, they constantly kept talking about it. Oh, this is stupid what Rockstar did. This is stupid what they did with Easy Way Out, that they, that they put a timer on it and everything like that. And these people were constantly accusing me of complaining. So, um, it's, like I said... The majority of the time, when you see, like, those comments of saying, oh, you complain too much, those are the same people that, that do the cheap things. They do the Orbital Cannon, they use the Oppressor Mark II, they spam Ghost Organization, the Easy Way Out, all of that stuff, it's those people. It's those people that are, you know, most of the time doing that stuff, that are saying you're complaining. So it's, um, uh, you know, I would, I would like somebody... Somebody that doesn't use the Orbital Cannon, somebody that doesn't use the Oppressor Mark II, somebody that, that, does, that doesn't use Ghost Organization, that doesn't use all these cheap tactics, then actually respond uh, uh, to me. Like, because, like, if you say that I'm complaining, and yet you're using all this cheap garbage in the game, you know, I can't take you seriously. I just can't. Like, um, that's just, um, uh... Might want to get a little farther away from him. It's a, oh, yes. a little too close here. Oh, I didn't hear about that expert. Um, do you find that Kyle Perico made it too easy to make money? No, not at all. Um, uh, it's it's Kyle Perico is great. It's like the best DLC. It's a fun way to make money. And Kyle Perico, do you know what you, you, do you know what I refer to Kyle Perico as? If I if, if there was three words that I could use to describe Kyle Perico, it would be stress free DLC. That's exactly what it is. The stress free DLC. It's a DLC that has no stress to it. You know why it has no stress to it? Because you can do everything in a friends-only session. You don't have to do anything in a public session. No preps in a public session. And on top of that, you can do the entire heist solo, which might be a little harder, but you don't have to worry about other people. You don't have to worry about people ruining your prep missions. You don't have to, pe you don't have to worry about people failing the heist, randoms. You don't have to, you don't have to sit in that lobby. What, what just happened? It failed again? I have no idea. You don't have to sit in that lobby and wait for people to um uh, wait 30 minutes for somebody to join, so that's why I call I call I call Kyle Perico the stress-free DLC because of that. Remember back in the day, guys, when you would sit in a, in, a, in an old school heist and you would you would sit in the same lobby for like 20 minutes waiting for that fourth person to join. 20 minutes. And then the fourth person finally joins, you start the you start the, the mission, the setup mission, you drive all the way across the map, you're about to complete the objective, and that guy just leaves. And the mission fails, you get connected right back into free mode, you gotta invite everyone all over again. Um, uh, that, those were the nightmare days of heists, is stuff like that. That is, um, uh, that is not a good memory that I had of heists. Um. Oh, my favorite. Just wanna shortcut in. I remember doing Humane Labs years ago, and kind of the same scenario, waiting for a force. Could not find anyone we knew, so we had to get a random. And like three times in a row, 
uh, as soon as we flew to the labs, he jumps out, and he's not even the one that's supposed to get out of the helicopter. He's supposed to stay in it. <laughs> you mean the he gunner? Jumps out. <laughs> right, the gunner. Uh, he jumps out and doesn't even pull his parachute. He just hits the ground. He did that three times. And then when we asked him about it, uh, he quit. I, I, I don't know. It was weird. That's you know I'll tell you something something stupid that um uh something stupid that I've seen once and something really dumb that I've seen once is I was doing the prison break finale. This is a few years ago. Prison break finale. Guy gets into guy's flying the plane. It was a low level, and I put him as the pilot because I thought that the pilot was a pretty simple task. I mean I didn't think that you could you could possibly mess up the pilot role, but boy was I wrong on that and so what happens is the guy loses the cops and he's flying like you know when you fly over the ocean when you get that little cutscene where Rashkovsky where you just you know all jump out of the plane the guy was flying too low he, he for some reason the guy couldn't figure out that he had to fly higher he couldn't figure that out that he had to fly higher so do you know what he did he landed the plane in the water right where the gold um, uh, orb was, like above. So he landed it right down there, and it sunk the plane. And he literally thought that the plane was amphibious or something, and it literally just failed the mission. And it was just, I did not feel like going through the prison again and doing all that stuff. That was just, um, uh, that was just, um, uh, that's, that's the nightmares of just heists. Um, uh. Oh, the other thing that would happen on prison heist somewhat regularly, uh, Whoever's flying the helicopter would land on the beach at the end, and then someone would parachute into the helicopter at the end, and now you gotta do it again. All of it. We specifically made a rule, yeah, years ago when we were still doing that heist, we specifically made a rule that whoever's flying the helicopter stays off the beach until everyone's on it. Mm. Just for that reason. And the word, you guys notice it when like you um uh you complete all the setup missions in a heist, and you you lose like a person, so you're waiting for like a new person to join, and so you're right on the finale. Some random joins that did not help with any of the other missions at all, like they didn't help at all, and then they start demanding like a 25% cut. Yeah. And the thing is though is if somebody's a random and they're gonna join my heist on the finale, when they didn't help with any of the setup missions, I'm not giving them 25%. It's not that I'm greedy or anything, I'm not- I'm not taking that money myself. You know what I'm doing with that- with their- that extra money? I'm giving it to my friends. Because, the- the- the way that I see this, is, why should somebody who joins the heist at the very end, did not help with any of the setup missions, literally be making the, even more than the people who helped? Because the- the fairest cut to- on heist is 40% for the host, 20% for everyone else, because the host doesn't get paid for the setup missions, and they have to pay for the um, the heist itself. And I even explained this to this guy once, and he told me, I don't care, give me 25%. So that's really um, uh, some of the people that like you um, uh, you deal with. Um, thank you, um, uh, thank you, Corner, for the donation. Thanks, man. We've raised $1,300 so far. Thank you, everyone. thing is that they're still getting money so i don't see why they complain yeah and it's like i have jo i've joined like heist finales on the casino heist and like i've gotten like 10 percent um uh, even when i've joined that like with randoms and i've never complained about that because i didn't help with any of the prep missions or any of that stuff so i didn't have a right to demand a higher cut and so i was perfectly fine with that and even 10 percent on the casino heist you know that's pretty good you know just for one mission that's 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 a decent amount of cash just for one mission, so it's like um uh, you know I, I don't see this you know this this big deal of people constantly um uh, you know demanding these massive cuts. Yeah, if everyone knows what they're doing in the casino and it's a clean run and you get pretty much as much as you can, that's fine. I'll take the ten percent. And if also, I'm only there for the finale. If somebody if, if, if 
I've, I, there was one time, I gave a guy 25% one time, um, uh, and I gave him 25%, you know why? Because he said he didn't have a lot of money, and he needed, um, he needed some extra money. So I gave him my cut. That's what I did. And, um, and that was, that was fine. But, like, the, the fact when people come into these heists, and they demand 25%, and they didn't help at all, like, with any of the other stuff, I'm gonna say this, if you're gonna come into a heist, and you're gonna demand 25%, I expect that that person is gonna play perfectly, flawlessly, no deaths, no mess-ups, nothing. And also, Klo, responding to your comment, um, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people think that I don't play, um, uh, I don't stream or play GT Online anymore because of like these um, uh, these griefers. But it's um, that's not even the main reason. So um, it, that's that's just maybe a small part of it. It's just I just don't want to deal with like you know people constantly blowing me up. But um, uh, you know the main reason is I just I'm just bored of GTA in general. Like I just don't I, I'm just not as I don't have as much fun with this game as I used to, and that's just it. Um, Well, hopefully come, uh, November Expanded and Enhanced, maybe there'll be something interesting to make it less boring. Yeah. We'll see. He's probably gonna be on one of the balconies. What's the button to make the helicopter stand in place? L3, right? Because I, I completely I forgot about that. I literally, that's, 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 when I, when I made my video, like, literally on the, on the Union Depository heist, like, people, uh, people couldn't believe that I forgot about that, because I just haven't played the game in so long, so I forgot that you could actually hold the helicopter in place. Um, uh. Also, I'm going to say another thing about joining heist and without participation. If you do a good run and, that, and you prove that you're worth it, they could even add you and be part of the crew to do more heists. I've done that with a few people uh, way back. They were cool in the heist, they were fun to play with, they did well, and then we did more heists later. Will I play Mega Man Legends 2? Yeah! I'll play that, just not right now, but I'll do the Misadventures of Tron Bon also. I had a lot of fun with Mega Man Legends 1. That was a lot of fun. Um... Okay, um... Okay, let me do this finale here. Make sure to get snacks. Oh, I forgot. Um... Let me let me just back out here then really quick. Yeah. Oh. Glad that coffee kicked in, woke me up a lot now, so I'm not fully awake now. Yeah, and and um, it's like I said, Fernando. I was um, uh, I was talking to my friend Carlos here um, in the party, and um, literally before I even started the stream, like just a few minutes before I started the stream, I literally said to him that I think that um, uh, who are these people though? Is are these the same people in? Hang on. Uh, no, it it appears like it's full. But I said to C Carlos, you're still here, right? So I I literally yeah, said to Carlos that um uh that there's probably going to be people that are probably even going to try to join on this stream and probably try to kill me, and it happened. Um, even though I, what, I haven't streamed this game in, what, nine months? 
and um, uh, and people still tried to join and kill me. Um, and they still resort to glitches to kill you. That's yeah. the worst part of it. Are you, are you planning to play Mega Man Legends 2? Yeah. I'll do it. I just don't know when. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what's... Why does it keep inviting random people? Hold on. I think I'm doing something wrong. I don't know why it's 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 inviting random people like like I yeah I I don't even okay okay guys join please before the randoms join in I don't even I don't even like kicking people I feel I feel bad when I kick someone um right I joined is this everyone that's in the CEO this is the whole this is the CEO that we have right now right. Uh, I'm not sure. Like Lord, he's in the CEO, but great, I'm not sure. you're in the CEO too, right, Carlos? Yeah, I'm in. And then great protected. This this is the CEO that I had, right? I'm just making sure. I'm not sure. I remember Lord, but great, I don't. Yes, know. Brandon. Brandon, I've I've said this on a bunch of videos. I'm gonna be making a lot of GTA 4 lore videos. So they're they're being made. They just they those videos just take time to make. It's a lot of effort to make those videos. They're not easy to make. Um, okay. Let's do this here then. Have you played Man of Medan? I have. <clears throat> and I actually really enjoyed it a lot. And um I um uh I made a video on the um uh the real history of um of the orang medan so uh check that out it's on my playlist i have a man of medan playlist okay brandon it's okay well i don't have the crew set as active so they can't really join me through that unknown Thank you for all the work you put in the GTA 4 video lore videos. Thank you, man. Mm. I like the Dimitri character analysis. So much effort was put into it. Thank you, man. My vehicle got blown up, so I gotta... Can I just call Moore's Mutual and just deal with that? No, it looks like I can't. I guess I'm probably just gonna ride with someone else. Let me get up in here. Yeah, I, I don't think that's Oh, I've been waiting on this call, baby. We moving. This is my shit. The Union Depository? This is the motherfucking big leagues now, y'all. Hit me with that plan again, baby girl. We pick up the security car, leave the getaway, walk right in the front door, walk right out with the gold. Then all we gotta do is drive it over to this contact you got. Mmm, that's right. Now this lady who paying us is a shady-ass motherfucker. Like she wearing government-issued pantsuit kind of shady. So we ain't fucking around with this one. Keep us on headset. Let's do this. Hey, Kay, you know who Lil Miss Pants is working for? I know enough not to know. You feel me? Shit, I... Wait, what are we doing right now? He has to park his car in the... Y'all in uniform, so get in the mindset. Get them ID badges shiny. Right we playing this low and slow. That's right. And you know what real security guard motherfuckers don't be doing. Waving their guns around and shit. You draw down, you as good as... Oh, I'm driving. Um, okay. I, I was just a little confused there. I guess Remember, he... your private security. Okay, it's okay. You gotta play the part, you dig? Just look like you itching to shoot someone, but... You got out of the car then, I guess. Um, yeah, try to look like I switched over, um... And you failed the LSPD psych test. You know, you're a little slow. Don't 
Don't say nothing to the guard. Just flash your ID and eyeball that motherfucker. ID, please. Okay. You get a little bit more money by playing with more people because when I played this by myself, I wasn't able to get all the gold. Next stop, the boat, sure. right, babe? It, it might be. Mm -hmm. It ain't far. Because right now it's been on the phone, I think. That's not the gold gold. shit gonna be heavy. When you do it solo, it's only two of them. I'm not sure, I don't think so. Oh, and like in the video that you made, watch out for the guards that spawn inside. Yeah, that was... Yo, you in? Oh, yeah. That was a bit ridiculous. Oh, wow, there's more gold oh, to girl. get now. Shit, how the fuck yeah. you so chill? A lot. Cause it's my job. You wanna fluster my shit, you better get on your back, player. Damn. Alright, y'all, get that gold upstairs before this girl give me another fucking thing to be thinking about. Shit, I know that sound. We busted. I thought the ID took care of that shit. If anybody has any room, there's still a little bit gold you here. Ready for yeah. Heavy shit on the way out of here. Yeah, them tactical units have plenty of time to get set up. This shit about to get real. Watch out, them rush. Listen, as soon as you got as much as you can carry, get the fuck gone. Fuck her up, y'all. They waiting up there. Damn, bro, fool. I wonder if the payout is going to change. Yeah, we're gonna test that right now. Yeah, I, I agree, TJ. I wish you could do this uh, stealthily. Ah. This guy's still alive. Okay. Oh, I got no body armors, but I do have snacks. Okay. Okay, let's go I'll go out this way here. I can't take the job. And they're across too. Careful. I don't see him. Oh. Yeah. All right, we have to move. Yep. Okay, go across the street. Don't get run over. Oh, thank you, Anonymous, for the donation. Thanks, man. Eat snacks and use butter. Okay, go. Um, probably lose the cops before we get on the highway, because it'll be easier to um just drive to the destination. Uh, you can just go right below that highway. There's a there's a hole. Y'all know these fools can't drive for shit. I feel you, but this client is real insistent that her face don't get seen by no cop. Well, I guess we're doing it. Hey, no one had a cop like a cop in a suit.
Careful, Lord. See if you can lose them here also. Yeah, on the highway, it's not going to be easy. You have to go to the hills or something. Hey, how we know this client of yours is legit, K? This ain't some entrapment bullshit. Chico, Chico, oh, thank you, Robin, for the donation. Thanks, man. Came to me because I ain't from around here. Ain't no LSPD or any other kind of files on me. I keep my shit protected, baby. Aye, babe. I know you do. If she good with you, she good with me. Okay, we have Why to get you that shit ton of gold, though? It's gonna be Same reason as anybody else, babe. Just a different color house. Ha! <laughs> Long as they money green, I'll take it. Let the church say amen, baby. Amen. I didn't go back to GTA. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is the I'm going to this is a, a stream that I promised people. I promised that I'd do a Tuners DLC stream and that's what I'm doing. Um Yeah, we have to go. But I'm I'm not a GTA YouTuber. I don't know where you're getting that from. I haven't been a GTA YouTuber for well over a year. I play a variety of games. Um uh I'm doing the stream because I promised it, and you know I'm still, I still, I still have some fun with the Tuners DLC, but you know I'm mainly bored of this game. Um, At least it wasn't an arbitrary update. But I'm not gonna, um, you know, I'm not going to, um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not going to probably play GTA Online until November. Or GTA 5 until November because that's when Expanded Enhanced comes out. So, you know, another three months I'm not gonna play this game for after today. Um, yes, I'm gonna do the 100% completion stream and I'm gonna do a charity for veterans on that stream. Um, There's a tunnel right over here. Do not worry about the future of GTA without Dan Hauser and Leslie Benzies. The recent Saints Row disaster has me worried about what GTA 6 will look like. To tell you the truth, it's almost like, um, uh... It's almost like I've, I've given up on GTA, on the future of GTA in a way. I enjoy the classic GTA games, I really do like them. Like, I'm having a lot of fun with Vice City stories and that, but... You know, I don't expect much from Rockstar anymore. Um, uh... You know, what they did with Reddit Online, and specifically, like, the stupid things they added to GTA Online, like Orbital Cannons and, you know, Oppressor Mark IIs. Like, who's to say that there's even going to be a story at all in the next GTA game? They might even scrap the story completely, and just might have a, just a GTA Online in the next, um, uh, that's it. And there, and the, the worst part about that is there's players that will be perfectly fine with that. They'll be perfectly fine with Rockstar scrapping the story and just, um, uh, getting rid of all single player and just focusing on online. So I don't have that much faith in Rockstar personally. Um, hey, I don't hear sirens. Damn straight, baby. Let's get this shit dropped off and let's get paid. I wouldn't even call it a GTA game if it has no campaign. I think the Saints Row reboot is already a disaster. There's, there's. I was so excited for Saints Row. I was so hoping that that they they'd go back to the old school gangster style. But what I saw there, that wasn't it. It was instead like just a bunch of like college kid college. hipsters. And honestly, I actually thought that people were were. I thought that people were making fun of the game when they said that the plot of the game is going to be starting up a gang to pay off student loans, but apparently that's a real thing. The developer confirmed that, that they'd get into a life of crime to pay off their student loans. That's like one of the dumbest things that I've ever heard for a story ever. I'm not joking, um, uh, sh uh, Shredder. Go on Google and type that in, Saints Row Student Loans. And you'll see the developer Lee says they got into a life of crime to help pay off their student loans. It's, um, uh... 
And what was the story about on the first Saints Row? The first Saints Row, it was a story where there was a neighborhood called Saints Row, and there was four four gangs in the city. There was the um, uh, Los Carnales, Yo, the Vice Kings, man, the Rollers, and then there was the and Third Street the Saints, and the Saints were the ones who controlled um, Saints Row. And the game starts out with all, all, all four gangs fighting over Saints Row, and your character almost dies, you get saved by the Saints, and you join them, and then you start taking down the other gangs. And at the end of Saints Row 1, you get betrayed, and you end up in- you almost die, you end up in a coma for like five years, you wake up, you find out the Saints are gone, new gangs have taken over the city, and so you you go to rebuild the Saints, but this time as the boss. Um, that sounds good. Yeah, and Saints Row 1 wasn't a realistic Saints Row 1 and 2 weren't realistic games, but they were serious games. That's what I'll say. They had, like, funny, goofy moments, but those were mostly in, like, side activities and stuff. Saints Row, Saints Row 2 had the perfect blend of funny moments and um, serious moments. That was what was, but in, for some reason in Saints Row 3, the developers fought, let's make the game entirely funny. Let's make jokes every minute constantly. Let's do stupid things every minute. Like, that's, like, what they fought. And then in Saints Row 4, they just overdid it even more. Um, uh... Okay. I see those, those... Wow. Look at that. See that? I Somebody joined the lobby that I don't recognize already. Um, I don't know if that person's up to no good yeah, or not, yeah. but I'm just, I'm leaving yeah, the lobby. Yeah, up to no good. Um, I uh, can tell just by his name. I'm, I'm leaving the lobby already. Um, uh, yeah, it's he's just... The, bo the boss was a cold-blooded killer, definitely. The boss was actually scary in Saints Row 2. Like, the, the boss... The boss in Saints Row 2 made Nico look like a good person. That's who, uh, what the boss was like in Saints Row 2. That's how terif ter uh, terrifying the boss was in Saints Row 2. The boss was scary. Like, that, that, that was like, like... He was like a really scary gangster. Like, um, that guy was, like, one of the worst types of sociopaths. Um. There's already two tryhards in this session who were trying to it, kill you. You know, it, it, um, Timmy, I don't know if you heard, there's a glitch where, um, people can apparently join you in invite-only lobbies, so invite-only lobbies aren't safe anymore now, and these people have been joining and trying to kill me. Oh, of course. It's a... Yeah, they're already obliterating us. Yeah. We're gonna do some, um, we're gonna do some of the Los Santos Tuners races to wrap up the stream. Yep, we raised 1,300, uh, <clears throat> for the charity. <clears throat> um, my voice, losing my voice. <clears throat> losing my voice here. Thank you, gamer. invite lobbies, or does that include, like, friend lobbies? Friend lobbies, they can't do it in, but they can, they can apparently, I don't even know what this glitch really is. They can just join you in invite-only lobbies now. Um, thank you, gamer, for the um, uh, for the donation. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's just it's it's just it's ridiculous. And the thing is, though, is when you complete a contract, even if you're in a friend session, it'll put you in an invite only session right away. And so, right after we finish the contracts, every single time we finish the contract, they they join immediately. So yeah, they're, they're watching. They're, they're, that's how that's how desperate they are. They're watching the stream and literally waiting for me to finish the contract just so that they can kill me right afterwards. That's just. And the thing is that they join on invite-only sessions, and that's worse because they join faster. Yeah, because there's nobody else in the lobby, so it's they connect pretty fast. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Races. Um, what are these tuna races called? Uh, uh, street, races, there's street, street races, races and, and pursuit races. races. Pursuit is uh, oh, I is see a to here. B. What's the pursuit? Street races are laps. Pursuit is A to B. Street races is a uh, more traditional lap type race. Uh, what did you say was pursuit? Pursuit it's series A to B. Is the one where 
Wait, the normal street races are just normal street races, but Pursuit is you get to a wounded <coughs> level, and cops start to shooting at you and chase you, and if they kill you, I think you lose the entire race. But it kills <coughs> out the most. <coughs> what it kills out the most because it has more players. Thank you everyone who um uh who donated on the stream though. I want to thank everyone who donated. Um we're at 1300. We're almost at 50% of the goal reached. Um uh that's going to help a lot of people in Afghanistan that are trying to get out like families and stuff and um uh I just it's just I I chose to do a charity for that because it just it just broke my heart what was going on. It was just it's just really bad. Um let me invite everyone here. And I'm gonna do a charity stream for veterans on um, next week on Liberty City Stories. Um, who's more of a cold-blooded killer, the boss or Claude? Claude, because the boss has a, the boss. The boss ha is a really cold-blooded killer, but he he has certain limits. Like the boss, the boss wouldn't betray his friends. Um, he actually cares about his friends, like Pierce, Shondi, and um, uh, Gat. Um, uh, but Claude would betray anyone, and, uh, for anything, um, uh, thank you, uh, uh, uh that, that <coughs> nasty. It's... Max wanted level, um... Uh, That's from... where you choose. Okay. Throughout the race, uh, the, you will be increasing in wanted level. Uh... Does everyone have a custom vehicle? Because if they don't, I'll just take custom vehicles off just to make the race, um, uh... When are you doing a Red Dead video? Um, uh, I will do a Red Dead stream uh, next week. Um, uh, I'll I will probably do it on Friday. Um, and I'm gonna have another Red Dead video coming up. I have a video idea that I'm I'm gonna be talking about. Um, that's probably just my friend. Um, uh, that my friend's Mike. Um, and thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Super. Um. Uh, for the donation, we're at a thousand four hundred raised so far. Thank you. What kind of crime plot has GTA not explored yet? I don't know. They really have. They've done everything: bikers, mafia, cartels, um, uh, heists. Yeah, robberies. Like um, they did like street gangs. It's like there's not really anything that I can think of that GTA hasn't like covered in terms of crime. Um. I think it's amazing that you turn into a good cause. Also, Pro, have you uh, played the new um, uh, money money heist mission on Watch Dogs Legion? No, I haven't. Um, I wanted to make videos on the, the new Legion update, but I just haven't had the time. Oh, and right, the Yakuza. Um, uh, triads also... Um Just letting you know, pro, a lot of people is going to crash in these races. Yeah, I figured.
great. Grass. Okay. <sighs> These races, I can tell, would require a lot of skill because you got to know the city, and um, uh, and how to get to oh, certain yes. places pretty fast. Um, also, there's shortcuts. So yeah, I see that. If you know a lot of the street, uh, you're gonna win. Yeah, I'm done here. I'm um, I gotta respawn here. This is um, that's just stupid. What happened to me there? Um. Wow, this far? Come on, seriously, game. Like this far away, like that's 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 ridiculous. Like that far away, it's like that that no, come on, that's not fair. That's the thing with these races that the checkpoints are really far away from each other. Damn. I hate this when cop cars lag in front of you and then it causes a crash. Yeah. And that thing is triggered by the player in front of you. The player in front of you has lagged, the cop is automatically going to lag. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing just horrible because I had some pretty bad luck. I think I'll do much better in the next yeah. race. Also for races, your car is I mean it's not bad but there's better options. I hate- why do they do that? Like on the- like right when the cars are turning at an intersection, like they'll slow down. Like right as you're approaching. It's almost like they want you to hit them. Actually they say, I don't know, I think it's a rumor that the- that the NPC traffic in these races are coded to crash into you. I'm not sure about that. It's basically import export value. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. <coughs> oh, man. Oh, and thank you, Jello, for the donation. Thanks, man. And thank you, um, Nail, also. Thanks, man. Seventh place. It's okay. It's um. Also, the payouts on this thing are are not that great. The terrible. thing about this race is, is, yeah, you do races just to get rep. That's the only reason players do this. Thing. Now look at that. Calico is the card that you're gonna see the most because it's just. I guess you could say the cheapest way to win. Uh. Okay, I guess we can do this one. <laughs> I 
I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, uh, it's like ever s when I moved to the Midwest here, it's like this has happened to me in August. Like last August is when I moved out here, and so this ha this exact same thing happened in August. So I don't think it's a coincidence. Um, uh, last year, but like I'm, I just um, I'm gonna put no traffic, and we'll just have cops on. Um, uh, oh, it's point to point. Uh, okay, but it's like um, it's it's allergies. I don't think I'm sick. At least um, uh, uh I don't think it's the cold or anything. Cause all I've had is just I've just been sneezing for the past few weeks. Like I I I don't have anything else. Like I'm just sneezing and just I stuffy nose and runny nose. You know that's it. Um, it's um really nothing else. I feel mucus in my throat, but it's like um uh, there's nothing else really besides that. I'm not coughing. I don't have a fever. Um, uh, I'm not shaking, um, uh, you know, I don't have a, a loss of, like, taste or anything, um, I think it's season allergies, um, uh, hay fever, yeah, I don't, what is what that? I, I don't know what is, what is, Sometimes. What, what is hay fever, I don't, I've never heard of that before, but it's, um, uh, it's, um, I don't think it's COVID, at least I hope not, um, uh, because it's like, isn't it with, uh, with COVID, I think it's that you cough, right? I don't think you sneezed with COVID, right? Somebody correct me if I'm yes, wrong on that. Cough. Um, cough uh, I don't cough at all, so I don't think I have it. Um, uh, then, yeah, I actually looked. I actually looked that up, like ragweed, like allergies. I I did look that up, um, uh, and that's a possibility that I have. Um, uh, also, one thing is that when the climate changes, like. It's a really strong change of climate, it can also happen, it can also cause some allergy. Oh, oh, great, great, no, no, no. I'm gonna put this on two star on the next next one we do. Ah, oh, come on, man! Don't crash into. Wonderful, the cop car's here. Just wait till you get to Pinewood Hills, this is the worst part of the race. Yes. There we go. I think I did decent. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think you did fourth or something. No, I got second. Oh, nice. I have no idea what I got. Oh, I got fourth. Nice.
Oh, hay fever is pollen allergy. Well, I've, I've, um, uh, that's what I've never, um, I've, I've never heard of, um, uh, yeah. I've never heard of that term personally, um. Much money second place woods here. Yeah, that's probably why I never heard of it. Um well, saucer got one again. Wow, five, you know, almost six thousand dollars just for that. Like that's that's not that's not worth it. I mean, these races are mostly set up for fun. Um, uh. At least you got a good amount of rap. That's the one thing. Be this one here. Yeah, and I've never sneezed like this before in the, um, uh, I've never sneezed before like this in the summertime, so it's like, it's in August, and it's also because I moved to a new place, the place I moved to is much more rural, um, uh, than the place I grew up in the city, and so, last August I was sneezing like crazy, and then this August I'm also sneezing again. Um, put this, this the police down to two stars, because that was, that was ridiculous. Turn off. Oh, it says five stars to me. What it did? I put it to two stars. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're about to see. I I think I put it to two stars. Um. Um. I mean, I was never really into al I was never really into like adversary modes that much. Um. Did did it? Did I put it at five stars? I just I went it I went down with it. I hope I hope I didn't make it five stars because that would be really bad if I did. That would be not. Oh, that... Unless it was a glitch. Uh, I thought I thought I made it two stars. I literally. I. Three is minimum. Oh great! That I probably made it five stars. So that's that's yeah, not. You made it five stars. This is not going to be good. Uh, well, yeah, there's contact. You did take out the traffic, right? Yes. Uh, okay, well, it will be better. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay, I, I'm... I'm Oh, it's only one star, look. Yeah, I told you it will increase. The more you advance, it increases. Oh, it seems like I'm not the only one that knows these alley shortcuts here. Hey Chaz, we're just doing a GTA online stream. I'm sorry? I was just doing a GTA online stream. Oh.
Oh yeah, it's five stars for me. Yeah, five stars right now, not good. Through the warehouse. Oh, Saucer Cats is gonna win again. Wow, that's good. You got second place again. Got third place. Oh, this is close. Ah, oh, almost had it there. That's one again. Well, good, good, good work, Saucer. Well, I got third place at least. I'm in podium. I knew that route really well because I knew that part of the city really well. I knew what routes to take. Um. Yeah, you did really good at this Well, thank you, Saucer Cats. I'm used to these races because these races are very similar to Midnight Club races. Midnight Club had the same thing, where it was um uh, you would go for the specific points. It wasn't like a specific like line that you would go through with the race. You would uh. Oh, I I mean I have Mister um uh I haven't played GT Online for nine months, so it's um uh. I mean, look at that, like, it's like, it's like less than a second, it's like a quarter of a second that you beat me by Saucer, um, I was really close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a hundred milliseconds. No, I don't live in New York, um, uh, anymore, uh, let's see, which one didn't we do? I think this one? Yeah, I did play Midnight. Midnight Club 3 was my favorite one. I, I never got into Midnight Club Los Angeles that much. I liked Midnight Club 3. That was my favorite one. Because I liked the three cities that they had. Like, they had San... What was it? It's San Diego. It was Detroit and Atlanta. Those were the three cities they had. Okay, so three stars to memo. It's Midnight Club a Rockstar. Okay. Midnight Club is maybe our start. Let me turn off custom vehicles and make this a little interesting here. Uh, yeah, okay, this is not going to be good because remember bulletproof tires, cops. Oh, spikes. right. Well, I. Oh, we'll see then. Thank you, Dinosaur, for, for donating also. Okay, let's see. Um. You should try out the jester. Where is Saucer Cats? I'm baiting. There you go. Okay, I'll take this one then. Isn't this the car that Tony Montana drives in uh, Scarface? It looks very similar to it. The sports car that he buys. Um, uh... No, I never really played the um, uh, need, need for Speed. <laughs> the person who did the the thing got yeah. Hit. The girl, she always gets run over. It's just like the belay. Everybody kills him, and everybody kills these girls. That 
Ow! Damn, NPC drivers. Oh no, come on. The thing that with the car that you chose is that it's four wheel drive, and so uh, the traction is not as good. It's fast, but you can't control it that much. Ah, uh, damn, I'm done now. Yeah, I lost. Ah, I'm trying to catch up this toss, but I don't think I can. Oh, I think he, he has no wheels now. Oh yeah, this is my chance. I'm winning this one. Oh my god, the time that I bet on saucer cats and I lose. I bet on saucer cats and I win. Wow, my luck. Let's go. Wow, I can't believe that happened. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got it. Oh, hey, hey uh, Bubbles, happy Friday to you too. Yeah, I heard a Daisy. There you go. Okay, which one haven't we done yet? Um, this one, I think? Uh, yeah, that one. I knew that was going to happen to Saucer the time when I saw that he didn't take the curve to evade the spikes. That was when I know I would win. Okay, let's do this here. I don't really play Rainbow Six Siege much. Um, I used to play that much more back in the day. That game is actually doing pretty good now. Rainbow Six Siege, like, there, I stopped playing that game because it wasn't fun playing against other people. Um, I didn't have fun um, uh, with that. Um, it was the, like, whenever I would play Rainbow Six Siege, it would, like, I would play against, like, the most insane team ever, like, and my team would just get demolished. Like, it, it's, like, Rainbow Six Siege is that type of game where there's, like, a little hole in the wall, and, like, somebody will just 
peek out of there where you can barely see them and they'll oh, instantly yeah. headshot you. Like, it's just, um, uh, I just didn't have fun with it. Um, uh, I like playing co-op. Co-op and Siege I thought was fun. Um, uh, but, uh, I'd... Actually, there's one thing called glory where you shoot and pull it into the, into the wall, and then you will come back. That's it. Oh no, come on. Oh, so super smashed. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I why did it spin me out like that there? I don't know. So you can't disable the police in these races? No, that's the whole point of it. Hmm. That's why the normal races exist. If there was only Pursuit series, series uh, everyone would hate this. But the thing is that Pursuit series is the one that pays out the most on rap. Damn. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the play right here. Oh no, it wasn't play. Who's the saucer cast? I swear. Oh yeah, it's him. Oh no, it's him. Uh, I need to move this. Okay, this is. What position are you right now? Third. Oh, you're behind me. I should have turned off traffic. Yeah, at least it, it isn't set on high. That makes it good enough. Great. Oh no no no! I, I can win this one. Uh, he's gonna catch up. No. Oh, I'm winning this one. Yes. Let's go. Let's go to win a row. Saucer cats. He's down there. Okay, good. Let's go. Okay, I guess I'm third place. I got this here. You know, I'd always drive over here in the single player and just jump out of cars and just watch them fall in the ocean. Oh, thank you, Chester Rooney, for the donation. Thanks, man. We're almost at 1500. We're almost at halfway there.
Your content on Vice City Stories is amazing, bro. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Apple. Thanks, man. Well, I, I'm gonna do one more race, and then I'll probably end the stream here. Um, I've been streaming for almost three hours. Uh, let me just see which... Tell me which one haven't we done yet. Um, yeah, I think we're done. I'm not sure. Let me check. Oh, you got third. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm usually getting in the top three on these. Did we do this join the club one? Join the yes. Uh, good bet we did get, that. Uh, yeah. Get trucked. No. Let's do that. One. Okay. So you're going when we finish with this one. Oh yeah, this will be my last one. Let me turn uh, off traffic completely. Yeah. Um, you have to oh, we'll turn off custom vehicles here. Turn that off so everyone has to pick a car. Oh yeah. I... Okay. Okay, I'll take this car then. I'm ready. Oh, sausage is in combat as single. Well, that takes some skill. Well, I've never played this one. Oh, I should have gotten the boost there, but I didn't. Okay, whatever. I actually, I think I didn't learn about the boost until last year. No, this is not good up ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nah, to do don't that. Worry, don't worry, don't worry. Go for it, go for it. I want you to win. Yeah, I'm done with this race. Whoa, okay, I just flipped someone. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the thing with Persecution as well. It's really crazy. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, come on. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm pretty sure why Social Cut is doing this bad. Comet is too is really sleeping far. Great. All these cop cars here. Come on. Yeah, even on three stars, this is brutal. Yeah, it's crazy. The thing with this is that the police shooting at us, they scare the NPCs. But I don't see it. I think I never got the chance to ask you what happened with your friend that got copyrighted for a thumbnail for over a year ago. Oh, that was resolved. Oh, nice. Ah, great. Man, this car is way too good. You have to buy this car, bro. I'm, I'm doing terrible. Like, I'm definitely not gonna win this. Oh my god. Like, look at this car right now. Look at what I went through with this car. Yeah, this is terrible right now. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Pro's the best YouTuber. Thank you, man. So I guess we'll be wrapping up the stream here, guys. Um, it's streaming for yeah three hours. Did a nice fun stream. We um. We got up to almost 1,500. Um, if anybody can still donate, if you can, um, uh, I don't normally ask for donations, but this is for the charity. Um, uh, International Rescue Committee is helping people in Afghanistan right now um, who are trying to um, uh, get out of the country. Um, I just, um, uh, I just feel so bad for the people of Afghanistan of what they have to deal with right now. Um, it's just, it's just. It was really fun. The, uh, the Taliban are going to have the most oppressive government in Afghanistan right now. And uh, yeah. I don't, yeah, it's just, um, it, it's, I hope everyone that, that, I hope every Afghan that can gets out. Um, uh, thank you, bro. Uh, thank you for this. Uh, thank you for the donation. I was about to say super chat there, but thank you for the donation. Um, oh, and the thing with the Taliban is that if, the U.S. doesn't stop them, something like 9-11 could happen again. Uh, we're gonna do we a chair- We give them 80 billion dollars with the stuff we left behind, so it's very possible. I'm going to, um, yeah. uh, I'm gonna do a charity stream on, um, for veterans on, um, Liberty City Stories, um, uh, uh, on, on the 100% next week, I'll do that, um. And Timmy, the thing with the Taliban is that since the U.S. has been killing them for 20 years, the Taliban are going to strike really big things like the... Maybe. I don't know, but they're going to go for kills, like not for uh, something that means importance, but 
They're going, they're, I don't know. They're going for kills. That's what they're doing. Maybe, but if they actually do something, we'll be obligated oh, to return. I, yes. Yeah. I had to get that invite only session, guys, because the um uh, those people are gonna join probably again to grief. Okay. Because if I just, smart, it just, they're, they're just they're gonna sit on the money and control the country for a long, long time. Yeah. It, it broke they my heart. Um. Uh, it broke my heart what I saw when I saw like people like oh, people shit. trying to like get to um uh get to the planes and then it. <laughs> It's yeah. it's it reminded me of like I mean I wasn't alive at the time but I know history it reminded me a lot of like when South Vietnam fell, um uh it, like is very similar. Um, this is yeah. worse, way worse than that. Yeah. And it's just... and the thing, bro. I don't know if you saw the video, but there was people trying to hang on the outside of the plane. Oh yeah, yeah. There was people falling from the plane yeah. trying to escape. People uh, it's, it's really, trying to it's... tuck themselves inside the landing gear. Area it's, and yeah, it, there was people falling down from that. that is messed yeah, it's just it's just really bad what's going on right now, and I wish everybody in that, I wish that everyone that that is trying to get out can get out of that country, and hopefully you know this charity helps out as much as possible. I read good things about yeah. this charity, so this charity does help um people in um uh, help people in other countries. It's helping people right now in Afghanistan, so um uh, hopefully that uh you know everyone that can um gets out of the country um uh. I remember seeing in a comment, uh, someone mentioned I'd have to look up to see who does it. There's a private military group that you can hire for like six or seven thousand dollars per person. They'll go there and get you out. Also, but, I've seen desperate parents, they're giving their kids to the soldiers. Like, they can't escape, but they're giving their kids to the soldiers. Oh yeah, I saw it, yeah. They're literally handing, like, yes. babies and toddlers and small children over the barbed wire. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna be, um, uh... I guess I'll, I'll be, um, uh, I'll, I guess I'll wrap up this stream here. So if anybody can still donate, I'll still hang around for a minute. It's to, um, uh, it's to, um, uh, it's to help out people in Afghanistan. Um... And we're gonna try to get that uh, three thousand gold by the um, end of the month. Um, and uh, I'll do a stream on next week on Liberty City Stories for a veteran stream um, for that. Um, this, this is. I just feel, I feel so bad for people in Afghanistan right now. It's just. Um, yeah. Yep, an entirely preventable situation. History Good stream, Pro. One thousand four hundred raised, and see you next time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, I'm money. Not sure for the there I'm not sure there is a president, president, precedent for what's going on there. At least not as far as U.S. history. Maybe some other countries have made some horrible mistakes like that. Because yeah. this was prevent preventable, and even in doing the operation, we could have made this a million times better it, it didn't have to be this bad yeah you're a real human being thanks for the charity stream no problem man i just, just the thing i just the... i just wanted to do something and uh and you know i i was gonna do a gta online stream and i knew my gta online stream was probably gonna be since i haven't done one in nine months it was probably gonna be pretty popular and i figured that i'd do a charity stream uh with it too um and uh vice city stories i'll have a video on that on that game soon um and Liberty City Stories charity stream is coming up soon. Okay, so I guess I'll be I'll be going here, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I pray for the people of Afghanistan, and um, hopefully this uh, international rescue committee does their best to help as much as possible. So um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if any of you guys want to still don't decide to donate later on, you can always come back to this stream, and you can just donate. You don't even have to do it when the stream is live. You can um, uh, you can come back to the stream whenever you want, and you can also even go to videos that that the that the um, the charity is linked to. So um, thank you guys for um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys um, uh, hope that you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.